Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I'm always telling you guys, remember the fact that you personally, wherever you live, are not experiencing persecution to the point of bloodshed and death does not mean the church is not under onslaught to that point. There are so many in the body of Christ that are suffering at this very moment, being killed for their faith, losing everything because they believe in Jesus Christ. And we need to remember to pray for them, for strength and for everything that they need in these times of difficulty. Uh, in India, members of a house church in northern India can no longer meet for worship after a mob of 150 Hindu extremists attacked them on July the 14th. The church was worshipping on the top floor of the house he and his wife own. His mother-in-law suggested they lock the main entrance gate and conduct the service quietly without music or microphone. Can you imagine trying to conduct your church service quietly so people don't hear? You can't worship loud. You can't use a microphone. You can't have music. These are the conditions a lot of these Christians have to abide by. We locked the gate. We stayed indoors. We weren't making any noise, Pastor Bomi said. Soon we found a mob with women leading in the front, banging on the gate, trying to break it open. Why did you come as a mob of over 100? We questioned them, but they kept repeating, we must open the lock. They only wanted to talk. As they banged and pushed the gate in the struggle, the lock was let loose by us. And at once the mob of around 150 rushed inside like flood waters. They went all around the house, vandalizing every object in sight. And some of them were carrying lattes. They beat wherever on the body badly. His wife, father-in-law, brother-in-law and two other female members of the congregation were severely beaten. The beating continued until police arrived and dispersed the mob. And then in ongoing information, the police are not going to do much about this because they have pressure from the ruling class who is largely Hindu. So very interesting. I mean, you don't, you don't think that they're a violent, violent religious group, but the anger and the hatred against the truth, against Christianity, against faith in Jesus Christ is real. And these Christians are experiencing that firsthand and they have to live like this and hope to make it through the next day. So again, remember when we seem to forget regularly, when we're focused on our smaller issues, remember there are people trying to worship the Lord as quietly as possible with no music or microphones, just trying to celebrate that they love Jesus Christ. And for that, they can lose everything. Everything. It puts everything into perspective and it reminds us to pray for them where they are. God bless and shalom.